Hello everyone, welcome to NFLHouse.com's player interview. My name is Eric Galco, owner and director for scouting for the site, and I'm joined today by EJ Biggers, cornerback from Western Michigan. EJ, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? Very good, very good. Now, when you were a high school player, top in the state in Florida, you consider BCS conference schools such as Kansas, Iowa, Ohio State, and Penn State. What made you choose Western Michigan? Now, the MAC Conference has been renowned the past five or ten years for its great quarterback play and, in turn, producing some of the best offenses in the country. How do you feel, being a second-team All-MAC quarterback, that the constant passing teams of the MAC affected your style of play? Uh, the, the offense in, in the MAC, like you said, is very spread out, so uh, it, really, it really wasn't a chance for you to uh, showcase your man-to-man -man ability. Uh, it was a lot of zone coverages we played. Because, like you said again, most teams were spread offenses, but uh, I enjoyed learning uh, all different coverages, so I, th I think it helped me for the best. Okay, and uh, while you're at Western Michigan, you had many talented players around you in the secondary, especially, uh, including two current NFL draft prospects as well, London Fryer, your fellow corner, and Luis Delmas, considered one of the top safeties in the upcoming class. How was the experience of playing such a talented bunch? Uh, it, was, it was great. Uh, playing with those guys kind of uh, put more pressure on me because guys are trying to throw away from those, those two. Uh, London, like I said, he's a great lockdown corner, and uh, Lewis was uh, flying around so much that deep, uh, teams didn't want to throw deep. They kind of threw a lot of short routes, and they kind of threw my side a little more than uh, London and Lewis. Cause, like I said again, a lot of teams uh, try to keep the ball away from those guys. Okay, so on to the NFL draft, where I imagine your primary concern lies. What have you been doing to train for the draft since the season ended? Uh, I've been working out hard uh, down in uh, Plantation, Davis, Florida, uh, at perfect competition. Uh, just training with uh, a bunch of, uh, like you said, a lot of prospects. We've been training real hard, uh, training on our 40, lifting weights, uh, and all, all the things that the combine drills. Okay, and, you know, speaking of the combine, what do you think you can do at your pro day? in comparison to some of the NFL combine performances for players at your position? Uh, I've been working on my, like I said, I've been working on drills, uh, day in and day out, uh, I mean, working on my 40, uh, and like I said, all the combine specific drills, I think I'm going to do real well, uh, working with, uh, Pete Romero down, he's really, uh, got me, uh, ready for everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, uh, speaking of some of the players you've talked to, or you compare yourself to, how do you feel you compare to the players uh, in this draft? Uh, I, I, I really don't compare myself to anybody uh, because, like I said, we played a different style. We kind of played a lot of zone coverages, and, and we did play man sometimes, so I, I, I just put myself in a lead uh, of my own, I think. I, I like the press. I like press coverage, so I don't know how many guys like that you know, uh, coming out this year, but I like the Man to man, I don't, I don't, I prefer that. Okay, well, and you just uh, touched on, you know, schemes yeah. in the NFL, um, you know, from the base 4-3 to a cover 2 and many other variations. Wh where do you think you fit in at the next level, team or scheme-wise? Uh, I think I can fit in anywhere. Uh, I can adjust this thing. Whatever team uh, I have the opportunity to play for, I'm, I'm going to adjust to it and I'm going to do my best, uh, be the best at everything they uh, ask me to do. Okay, and then speaking of that, what do you think is your best aspect and what will get you into NFL rotation the quickest? Uh, like I said, I like uh, press coverage and man-to-man. Uh, -man. And I, I think that's, that's my strength right now. Okay, and, and counter that, where do you think you can improve before the draft process occurs? Uh, just uh, get stronger and uh, working on my... Uh, Getting feet work better because uh, you never get enough footwork drills uh, for the NFL. Mm -hmm. Okay, and and finally, um, for all the scouts out there listening, give me your best selling point that if I was a potential team in the NFL draft, I would want you. Give me your best selling point. Uh, I'm going to do everything I have to do uh, on and off the field. Everything is asked of me. Uh, I'm going to work hard every day, day in and day out. And uh, I'm going to play hard every play. 
Okay, great. Hey, thanks for your time, EJ. Best of luck with the rest of the NFL draft process. I hope to be talking about you at the next level as soon as possible. All right, thank you. Thank you. Well, that was EJ Biggers, cornerback prospect from Western Michigan. That concludes our interview for today. Thank you for visiting NFLHouse.com, and feel free to shoot me an email at eric, E-R-I-C, G, at NFLHouse.com. Thanks again.